Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you today. And today, in this video, I want to compare, in my opinion, the kings of the budget PCP air rifles under $200. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be comparing the Diana Storm Rider Gen 2. To the Beeman QB Chief. Now I'm going to cover the likes about each and what they compare, how to they compare, and how they don't compare to each other. But I figured it was worth it because again, both of these are under $200, right around $179 or so, many retailers. And they each differ in my opinion, but they're both uh, extraordinary extraordinary PCP rifles. Uh, the first generation, I, I've already tested the Imran Air Max a while ago, about two years or so ago, against the Chief. I would rather have a Chief personally, but with this new gen, Generation 2, Diana Storm Rider, if you don't know the Imran Air, Air Max, uh, they all come from the same factory, and so does the Beeman Chief. But the Beeman Chief is specifically designed by Beeman from the factory. And I'm pretty sure Diana had some upgrades made to the Diana Stormrider Generation 2 from there. So let's get into the comparison, guys, and see what's going on. Okay, so both of these, 22 caliber in this video, bolt action repeaters, rifled barrels. Again, PCPs have an air gauge, so however you get your air in there. And also in this video, I have the same scope mounted on each one, just for demonstration accuracy purposes. And I didn't mention, but the Beeman Chief here has a wood stock. You can get the Storm Rider in the wood stock, but I have the black polymer. So, again, you can get each of these in the, a wood stock. Again, very alike. They each have uh, front and rear sights. I took some of the sights off. Just personal preference, front and rear sights comes equipped already out of the box. They both have the dovetail mounting option on the receiver here. So now let's get into the differences and then I'll show you guys the accuracy and precision that I achieved using the same exact scope at 50 yards. Okay, so if you don't know already the differences between the Chief and the Diana Storm Rider uh, Gen 2 in this video, let me start off with the Diana Storm Rider, it is moderated, it's quiet, it's not, the Chief is not, does not have any attachments, all you hear is the raw sound, and it's, if you live with neighbors close by, it's decently loud, probably not backyard friendly for most people. The Diana Storm Rider has a fill probe, the Chief here has it built in the air cylinder. So you don't lose your fill probe. The Chief has that on board all the time. So again, the Chief has a barrel band that actually pins the barrel in, screws into the barrel. The Diana Storm Rider has somewhat of a band, but it doesn't really do anything. The barrel still can move freely in there. So even though looks can be deceiving does the features actually work so in my opinion the barrel band on the chief works extravagant uh, one of the most accurate PCPs out there in my opinion especially for the price point now another thing big difference here the Diana Storm Rider making our way back has no o-ring on the bolt the o-ring is inside the barrel here if you've ever taken one of these apart the O-ring is inside here. Also, the Diana Storm Rider 
can be shot with a magazine or single shot tray. The Beeman Chief, on the other hand, has the O-ring on the bolt probe and is only single shot. Has only the loading tray there, no magazine. Now talking about the air cylinder, since it's right underneath, the Chief has a bigger air cylinder. Uh, Pyramid Air and air, air Gun Depot and all of them claim about 136 cc's. The Diana Storm Rider is 100 cc's. This Beeman Chief fills up to 2,000 PSI. The Diana Storm Rider fills up to 2,900 PSI or 200 bar. Both are very, very hand friendly. So don't let that, you know, cause you the decision between one of these because they're both very hand friendly. It's not the pressure amount that matters. It's how much you have to fill to that pressure. So, as you can see there, a big difference in air cylinder. Again, with the Chief having the wood stock on here, this makes it somewhat heavier gun out of the box, no scope, almost seven pounds bare bones out of the box. Whereas the Storm Rider, the polymer stock, bare bones out of the box is almost under five pounds. I mean, it's light, it's feather light compared to this being almost two pounds heavier and that's without scopes. You start adding optics and hardware and everything else, you're talking, you know, another pound or two. So, now let's get to the triggers. The Beeman Chief has the standard QB trigger in it. Very adjustable single stage, awesome trigger. Uh, you know, clean, nice clean break. Here's where the Gen 2 shines. It has a dual stage trigger no joke you have two adjustment screws here sear and pull and you could set it to where you have a little bit of creep and you hit that wall and then pull it and it's done so two stage truly a two stage trigger in this so enough yapping guys about it I can go all day about the specs but again both of these have the same scope and I'm going to take them out to 50 yards and show you what they can do. JSB 15 8.9 grain 22 caliber pellets again 50 yards let's see what happens. So I wanted to make this as accurate and best testing as possible. So I used the single shot tray and the Diana Storm Rider. Even though it can be used with the magazine. It comes with a seven round magazine. I used the single shot tray to be even as much as possible with the Chief. And you can see here. The Chief being here, this is the Chief, and here's the Storm Rider. Now once they started to settle in, you can see here the group is almost identical. Four or five of them right here, four or five of them clustered here. And I know that the Diana Storm Rider is still new. I've had the Chief for over uh, three years now, so shooting only JSB 1589s out of it here and there, not shooting it all the time. And changing the scope out, I'm happy with that. Again, you can see they shoot almost identically once the pellets got seasoned in. Switching pellets, you know, you always got to give it time to get dialed in and switch in. And you're probably wondering, well, I bet you can't do that all the time. Well, I just pulled this off the other day also, 50 yards with the magazine. So... I mean, 
it's an accurate little rifle. This is the Storm Rider, by the way. So here's the Chief. Here's the Storm Rider again with the magazine. So there you go, guys. I mean, that is, to me, like I said, these two are most on par air rifles I've ever compared. And I hope you guys like this video. Again, you know, each their own, each have their own opinion. I get asked all the time about showing off air guns and which ones do I think is better and this and that. Well, hopefully I covered a lot about these uh, to give you a good, honest opinion or whether or not you want to pick one of these to get. And I know there's better options out there. I know magazine fed. I know this and that. But I just want you guys to know that's, you know, this is an honest review comparing these two. And in my eyes, again, they're so similar, they're almost the same. The only difference is you get a little more features with the Storm Rider. But again, you know, it is what it is. So as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you on the next one.